Hurricane Debbie has weakened slightly to a tropical storm, but its powerful winds and heavy rain still move slowly through the south at this hour. Laura Aguirre has the latest on this destructive system as it tracks up the east coast. Debbie roared ashore the Big Bend Gulf Coast in the pre-dawn hours Monday as a Cat 1 hurricane. It weakened midday to a tropical storm, but while the winds may be slowing, meteorologists say it could be one of the most prolific rainmakers in the region's history, having dumped a month's worth of accumulation on Florida already. We're uh, uh, seeing a bit of a repeat of uh, Hurricane Adelia. Category 3 Hurricane Adalia slammed into the same area of northern Florida one year ago. Many of the homes are just finishing up their, uh, their renovations. Businesses, too, like this resort, newly rebuilt after being destroyed by Adalia, are now flooded again by Debbie's storm surge. The Coast Guard busy offshore, rescuing two people trapped on this disabled sailboat off Boca Grande, Florida, Sunday. Forecasters say Tropical Storm Debbie is now churning along at walking speed, expected to drop historic amounts of rain on Georgia and South Carolina in the coming days. We are at basically zero sea level. We're going to have some real issues. South Carolina, Georgia, and parts of Florida are all under a state of emergency. Residents are being warned to stay inside and avoid floodwaters as crews mobilize to clean up debris and restore power in Debbie's wake. That is the number one way where we will see fatalities is by people being out on the roads. I'm optimistic that we're prepared, but again, you never know what's coming down the pipe. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.